Hey, fish heads, good morning, and welcome back to Jekyll Bates at Bullshad. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but that's just what I'm doing these days. That's where I'm at. So I wanted to get right into this. It's been a while since I've done a show and tell, and I'm really excited about it. I've got some big baits to show you. But before we show off the Bullshad stuff, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Pete. I, uh, I actually made one of his drops and purchased one of his nuggets. And this is, uh, it's a unique bait. It's the chicken nugget with the barbecue sauce on it super cool the guy has got some wild and cool creative ideas and also is a phenomenal bait builder and just like i always say around here folks it is community not competition so i'm really excited about all the cool things that pete is doing these days with his creations and how far he's going super super proud of him so i had to give a shout out to him we swam this in the tank test and mike loves it i love it and i cannot wait to crush some fish with it so mike I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for letting me swim this bait in your tank. And Pete, I can't wait to show you pictures. Also, Pete's making his own tails now. Um, so he's pouring these in his West Coast state. I think it's, what is, yeah, Oregon's on the West Coast, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. It's not over here. But um, good on you. These are floating. They're fabulous. And I agree with you. Who wants to see Zoom trick worms on rat tails? Because they don't float changes the action thank you thank you thank you thank you i'm happy i made a drop i'm sorry i missed the shark because i definitely want to buy one of those as well i know it was a limited edition you guys have seen this and i'm just going to show it briefly because i want to show you something else that i'm working on uh, this is obviously the mirror carp that i've been doing it's on a soft tail this one happens to be available um, so this is probably going to go to swim bait universe sometime this week. And then pretty much everything else we're going to be doing from here on out is going to be stuff for the classic, but I'm showing you that to show you this. I did a silver carp and I really love the way it turned out whole lot of, uh, reflection. You guys can see that in the camera, the Chrome stayed Chrome. And uh, I've been playing with some different chromes. What I'm going to show you is not what I used on this, but what I'm excited about trying out this week is this Spaz Sticks. Nope, I'm not sponsored. They didn't. I bought this, um, bought it off of Amazon. They boasted it as the ultimate mirror chrome, so we're going to put it to the test this week, hopefully in some sort of a session for you guys. Um, it looks super cool. Looks really good. We'll see. If you guys have tried it, you guys are using it, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, really happy. This is going to get like two or three more coats. This has got the primary, just one coat of clear on it. But I am super, super, super excited about this silver carp. But lots of, lots of bling and flash. Look at how that just reflects. So yeah, we, got, we now have the, uh, the traditional and the silver mirror carp coming to something near you at some point soon promise also this little guy right here is the shell cracker get up close on that and you can see all of the different shades of blue and orange i used in this i love how this turned out. Just real happy with this, for sure. This has got four coats on it. Got a couple of hulks coming out this week. This green and fluorescent violet static electricity type deal. Now this one has got the chartreuse seed tail, and then this one has got the traditional fluorescent dope, dope, dope color on the tail that Mike put together for me here at Bullshad. So that is what's going on with those guys. Also did a rat. This is the uh, OG six inch. This is the big rat from Bullshad. Give you guys a good look at that. A 
did a burbot spray session finally right i know I'm, i apologize we're going to try and get back into the spray sessions this week as well um, again definitely going to try and put something together using some chromes just uh try and not do the same thing over and over again try and keep it fresh for you guys give you different patterns give you different fish because i know that's what y'all like to see it's what i like to do for you guys this is how that burbot turned out. This is after three coats. I think we're good on three here. Just a fun little Northern Waters fish. We have an ultimate gill. I haven't done one of these in a while, but Mike asked me to, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this guy. It's going someplace special. And then I've got one more that's very similar to this that's on the clear coat rack that may or may not be available here in the next couple days. I always like to try and wait until it's ship ready for the most part. But like how the colors turned out on this as well. Spring folks, and the spawn's gonna start and fire up here in the mid-Atlantic states and the northern states at some point, and red is still the go-to color. It's one of my favorite colors to throw in the springtime. I just wanted a real bright pop pattern on something like this. So this is what we've come up with. A little bit of definition in the uh, dorsal, or in the, I'm sorry, in the pec fin. And this is gonna get a nice, either a smoke or maybe even a Maybe even an orange tail on this. I think that might look pretty decent. There's a few color choices when it comes to these soft tails that he produces. And then we have this one. The baby bullgill in the red breast. It's a darker red breast sunfish. Got those freshwater abalone or freshwater pearl eyes just to trick it out a little bit you can get those at uh, aliexpress and that's pretty much all the news that's fit to print today that's what i've got for you guys i really appreciate you guys checking out the channel if you haven't already please subscribe smash that like button for me and i will see you on the next video coming soon to the channel. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.